You're drunk. No. I right, what I missed. Oh. Sorry. I've got him, don't worry. Leave it, I'll do it. Whoa. One pan, four colours. <laughs> That's big pharma. Get out. What? Get out. It's probably for the best. Seriously? You should go, Daniel. Just leave. Don't bother waiting outside. Moral support. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I've never... I've never seen him. Daytime as well. We were talking about tests. I would like to send you for a mammogram and also an ultrasound. Now, you might want to make a note of this, so... Pen. Thing is, some people could turn this into a growth moment. Inspirational quotes and acceptance. Some people? Mm. I'm, I'm not one of those people. I will turn this into a pity party. Well, hopefully you won't need to. We'll book the tests in for tomorrow. The results will come back in a couple of days and we will ring you the minute that they're in. So don't go down the rabbit hole that is Dr. Google. That ship sailed. Or chew over worst case scenarios. I don't really do zen. Have you got family you can confide in, close friends? Not my boyfriend, clearly. Daniel is my patient too. So you can't comment, even when he's acted like a prize plum. I know what a blow it was when he lost Sinead. I imagine that he is terrified. Except he's not the one going through this. When you didn't come straight back, I panicked. I thought maybe they'd sent you off to you can say it out loud. Hospital. Maybe we should say something. I mean, how does she look? Is it good news? Is it bad news? Hmm. It's hard to tell, really. She's always a bit Lady Gaga at the best of times. Poke face. Daniel's already broadcast me business anyway. Fuming with Madame over there. She carried on serving him. It's not Glenda's fault that my boyfriend's a grade-A plonker. Bitching about me, isn't she? Well, bitching's a strong word. Your name was in the mix. <sighs> I caught the blame for doing my job and serving you. What is he again? Your cousin, nephew, uncle? Oh, don't, don't. Gives him brain age just thinking about their family tree. Brother. I didn't mean to worry you. I went for a walk, clear my head. What's this? Sauce for the goose? Wait, it's one drink, but if you'd rather have a brew. No, it's fine. Some of us know when to stop. Have you told him? That they're sending me for tests. No. He's too subtle to take anything in. Stop here tonight. Ta. But this needs sorting. A moment of panic, I, I can understand, but if he is going to say the sky is falling every time we have a problem, then I need to decide, don't I? Can I live like that? <laughs> 